Good morning and welcome to uh, KBT's vlog series and we're looking at um, today, the title is At The Verge. So uh, we're looking at Joshua today and how Joshua was a, a great leader and um, he was marked by his willingness. Um, he was courageous and he was obedient and um, he was marked by his willingness to follow God's instructions. Um, as seen in the miraculous fall of the Jericho's walls. He was um, a military leader overseeing the conquest of various cities in Cana and emphasised the importance of adhering to God's commandments and maintaining the covenant. So overall, Joshua's character in the Bible portrays him as a faithful and dedicated leader who played a pivotal role in Israel's journey to settle in the land of Cana, the promised land. So today's title is On The Verge, and in the passage um, we find a call to strength and courage. Joshua is tasked with leading the people into the land promised to their forefathers. The importance of adhering to Moses' law is emphasised, as straying from it is cautioned against this adherence to connected to um, achieving success. So from Joshua 1, 6-7. Be absolute and fearless, for you shall guide these people to inherit the land I pledge to their ancestors. Show great strength and courage. Be vigilant in observing entire, the entirety of Moses' law. Do not deviate from it, either to the right or the left, so that success accompanies you wherever you tread. So a hymn by um, William Williams in 1740. Five expresses the journey as a pilgrimage through the barren land, culminating in hope when stepping towards Jordan's brink. The hymn envisions the transition into Cana as an end to fearful anxiety and a passage to safety. However, it's important to distinguish that the Israelites' entry into Cana marked a beginning and not an end. This marked the establishment of God's chosen people in the Promised Land, abiding by his law, amidst neighbouring nations. This presented a fresh opportunity to serve the Lord. Moses was warned that God's blessings were conditional on obedience. The law, emphasising personal and communal holiness, aimed to nurture a community committed to justice, generosity and stewardship. This was in a land where all could prosper and flourish and symbolised in the saying each under their own vine and the fig tree in 1 Kings 4.25. With Cana within sight across the Jordan, God encouraged Joshua just as with Moses. He, the promise is reiterated for Joshua's courage. I will be with you. I will never abandon you in Joshua 1.5. Although reading about the Israelites' conquest of Cana can be challenging, it's important to note that it's not driven by an ethnic superiority of God's people. Understood through God's justice, it's depicted as a divine punishment for wickedness. We see this in Genesis 15, 16 and in Deuteronomy. These are events are part of God's salvation plan, encompassing all nations, fulfilling his promise to Abraham. The intention is to bless the world through his people, planned in a land under his rule. So the Old Testament stories, rich in Im imagery, have inspired the church, particularly the Exodus and wilderness accounts. New Testament writers view these as historical events, offering patterns of God's deliverance and the concept of rest, Hebrews 3, verses 7 and 4, 13. They also serve as an example of warnings in 1 Corinthians 10, 1 13. As Christians today, as part of God's unfolding narrative, we're redeemed by Christ and empowered by the Spirit. Our role is to form a new community amid our culture's challenges, living righteously, strong and courageous, embodied by the assurance, I will never leave you or forsake you. So that's it for today's vlog. I hope that's encouraged you. Um, and maybe things to think about um, today. Joshua 1.8, urging meditation on God's law, day and night. Um, so we should focus on God's God's plan for us and what um, his work is in our community and in our lives. Have a good day everyone, all the best, God bless.